We're going to be going into special deliverance. I'm going to tell you what, what, what is, how many type of hini that we have. We have hini by words. Hini by warfare. Hini by deliverance. Also, we have hini by medication, which is by the scientific method of God. Do you understand? All of them has to do with divine health. Hello? When somebody is sick of headache, you can be healed with common parastamol or panadol. It is not the time for you when you are sick, when you are having a headache, maybe stress, headache, or whatever. It's not the time to be calling Pastor Tau, Pastor Tau, hey, there are demons playing upon my head. Deliver me now. If you can take an adult and that headache can go, you have been delivered. However, if the headache now fail to go, that means some people have already entered into the spiritual realm and they are dreaming drum for you. Then they need a some upper hand. That's how you need deliverance. Hello? And can I tell you also, for adventure, some people are drumming for you and your head is ringing. You can also do another drum for them. And then we see the higher drum. When you enter into praise and worship, when your own drum, your own singing is, is as upper hand, they will leave. And you don't need deliverance. You have delivered yourself. By what? Praise and worship. Because they are dreaming, they are drumming for you. And the more they are drumming, your head is haughty, haughty. And you also can drum. The, the Holy Ghost drum for them. And then when they hear your own drum, they will relax their own drum. Then you will be what? You will be free. But if they have entered into the altar, enter into the altar of evil, if they are in the ocean and in the deep sea, calling your name, or they have buried and they have, they have used enchantment, or demon as in, in the assignment, then you need a powerful deliverance. For example, a spiritual husband manifestation, a spiritual wife manifestation, and some other others demonic attack. At that particular time, if you have tried all the healing processing, you have done praise and worship, you have done sacrificial offering, you have done prayer and fasting, and then they are still persisting, still the same thing. Then you need what? A special deliverance. So we're going to be having special deliverance for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, immediately after the service. That's going to be our second service. So it's meant for people that have special cases. If you know that your own case is special cases, per adventure, blood cancer and you know that this is not medical this is spiritual nightmare dreamy all manner of eating in the dream that's not medical you are head pap before you sleep and you are still eating another pap where you are sleeping that's why you need a special deliverance so you must wait after service and then we go into special deliverance however what we are doing today is a reward of serving God which comes by healing. The Bible says, I will not forget the labor of your love. What is the labor of my love reward? One of them again this morning that we are going to look into is the healing reward. Oh, so does serving God means that I must not be sick? Yes. If you seek, you seek for tiredness. Serving God gives a reward of healing. That's what we'll be looking at this morning. However, let's quickly go again to recapping what we have been doing so that you can have an understanding and follow what we are doing. But remember, at the end of the service this hour, we are going to go into a warfare operation whereby we are going to be attacking every strangers in our life. Therefore, can I quickly ask you a question? Again, what are the type of reward we have been looking at since the beginning of the month? One, somebody tell me 
Just lift up your hands and tell me. Yes. I want to start from the first service before we now go into that place. The first service type of reward. Abrahamic reward. And in the Abrahamic reward, we have how many type? Yes, which is the love reward and the faith in God. Abraham received the latter hand of the year reward. Listen, if they wake you up, the teaching of this man, you should be able to say it anywhere. Why was Abraham given the latter hand of the year? Why was God waited for him? Not early of his age, his life. Why was it late? It's because the scripture must be fulfilled. So that every one of you hearing this word right now, that at the end of every year, it's never too late until your own testimony is announced. So excuse me, people of God. Whatever you've been going through since the beginning of the year, it's never too late for God. Because even Abraham submitted himself unto the later end of his life before he received his own reward. Of what? Faith. And of his love to God. That's where we are teaching. Then, number two, second reward. Somebody tell me. Prophetic reward. He, he said, believe the Lord your God. Number one, yes. But also believe his prophet. So that ye shall be what? Ye shall prosper. The prosperities of this earth is in the hand of the prophet. It's not Lotto prophet. It's, they, are, they are not. I'm sorry for the people that cannot distinguish between business prophet and spiritual prophet. Every prophet that has to let you say, pay 5,000, 2,000, 100 rand for, for, for consultation, they are business prophets. They are business prophets. If you want to give prophet anything, give it from your heart, not by him demanding from you. That's business. That is soothsayer. That is not a broad prophet in Yanti that you advertise on the, new, on the, on the, on the placard you're seeing everywhere. I will never know till Jesus come. Or I will never ask this church, how much was our offering last week? Bring it. I used to be in one church in the beginning. When we finish service, when we get home, the man will say, Dickie! Dickie! How much is all the offering? I say 250. Ah, we thank God though. Oh yeah, take 50 rand. Go and make lunch. And I will take 50 rand. I will be super cook by that time. I will use 50 rand. I will buy pap and uh, beat everything. I will cook. Dickie! He will even ask me, how much change to remain? <laughs> no back account, nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know how much this, since the beginning of this church, I don't know how much the income of this church every Sunday. I don't know. I don't know. And I, would, I don't think I'll be interested to know till Jesus come. My concern is that my Lord God that call you here as a family should raise you up as a sponsor of gospel. I want to see the day, and I'm waiting for the day, when every one of you hearing me now will be a giver of chopper, helicopter, for the kingdom of God. If that's what God called me for, then I am glad. In fact, to be honest with you, people of God, I have asked God, God, why did you call me? Why don't you leave me as a businessman? God said, I call you so that you can make all my people rich. Yeah. Hello. So a prophetic reward is you believing in me. I'm not a poor prophet. Are you getting me? So the, you have no reason to be poor. Can you hear me? You have no reason to be poor. I have never been stranded. You have no reason to be stranded. I have paid so many deals for you. I have done what? I have paid so many dues. Where I was supposed to be stranded, I have passed through it. So I have, I have laid myself for every one of you under the sound of my voice as a prophet. Therefore, you can never be stranded. 
is a prophetic reward if you believe in the mandate. What? Mandate. Please, people of God, let me make it very clear to you. I am not perfect, and there is no prophet that is perfect. But believe in the mandate. In that day, shall there be an altar to the Lord in Africa? And the pillar of the border diary. Believe in that mandate. People that come to my house, you will know that this is, this is Tau, not Prophet Tau in my house. I'm not perfect. But believe in the mandate of this ministry. That when I speak under this prophetic auction, I am not the one that speaks. I speak as an altar and as an oracle of this calling. Prophetic reward. Believe in me. Please, when you believe in me, don't let me to be cross with you. Or to make, don't cross my heart. Because the same way that I bless, if I utter my, my mouth, which I will never say to any one of you. Because you know why? You are all sons and daughters of my corny. Hallelujah. Believe in this prophetic assignment. And you shall prosper. And then, another one, reward. Somebody tell me. Hmm? Wickedness, reward. Yes. There are, there are rewards for every wickedness. Listen to me, there are in two ways. If you are very wicked to people, there is a reward. There is no body that can change that. If you are very wicked to people, if your own second assignment after your first assignment when you wake up from your bed, your second assignment is to do evil to people. There is a reward though. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, if you have been wicked to me, there is a reward. So this smiling, you are smiling now. Well, look at your neighbor, see the way he's smiling now. Hey, this smiling better be a good smiling. Every 24-7. If the wicked smiley, you you get reward. Yes, truly speaking. You know, in my in my country, there is an adage that say, uh, "How do you say that wicked?" Uh, uh, the hand of the wicked. Does, so you see, and can I tell you the truth? You might have been doing the wickedness from January. God will be waiting for you. Repent, to oh. February, repent to oh, March. This, by the time God sees that you are not repenting by no, November, hey, by December 1st, he said this one, if I allow this one to see December ending, he will finish my church. God will just mm, tap small thing like this on that person. Reward of what? Wickedness. Can I tell you the truth? Every wickedness of Satan in your life since the beginning of this year comes to an end today. It's all vice versa. Please, listen very well to, to message that balanced life. Don't let people coerce you with messages that favor them only and frighten you. When I speak, I speak both spiritually and both what? Physically. So that you balance yourself in the church, you balance yourself in the world. In fact, when I see a man in church, I know what you will be in the town. I don't judge you in town before I judge you in church. When I see who you are in church, I know what I'm seeing in the office. I know. If I see an humble person in church, I know a humble person in the office. When I see an arrogant person in the church, I will not be surprised if you come to me every month, they sack me. Because I know, I know you. I know you. That is what? Wickedness reward. And then, the last Sunday message is what? The latter hand year reward. Which is, there are spiritual latter hand of year reward and there are physical. And in that message yet last Sunday, we were talking about the heavenly reward and the earthly reward. Please, people of God, don't misunderstand me. When I'm talking about the heavenly reward, we are talking about the spiritual reward, the reward of salvation. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't want anybody to say, hey, pastor said, uh, 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 there's no. No, well, I was talking with you. I was, how many of you are ready to go to heaven that time? Every one of us will go to heaven at the right time. That is the spiritual reward. Our salvation. The moment you give God your lifetime, your salvation, which is the spiritual reward, and your heavenly palace are already stand by. But I am not going there now. Am I going to... There is no... No car, limousine in heaven. Limousine this year. Heavenly race, your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. Your name is Avelos. I wonder my Avelos on it. Yeah. Hello. So there are spiritual reward, heavenly reward. We come by your salvation. Every one of us that are giving our life to Christ, we have our heavenly reward with God, with Jesus promise. He said, I go to heaven and prepare to you a mansion. If there are no mansion there, he said, I will not have told you. But then, there are what? Earthly reward. Of what? Of serving God. And not only that, if woman be, if our employer can give us Reward. Have to see how many company? If you are working in oil company, they give you accommodation, they give you car, they give you travel allowances. Ah, uh, uh, these are earthly men. How about spiritual giving? God have all world in His hand. Does He not have capacity to give me estate? Just because I'm serving Him, He must. Because a, a, an employee of a, of, of Sasso of oil company they give their own people their reward why can't god give me my reward hello i want you after this message to be to be fully persuaded that you are not serving god for nothing but listen to me if you fail to serve god you are serving and you are you are serving no other person than yourself and the other master People that are not serving God, that are not in church, they are not serving God, they are either serving their masters, which is their employers, or they are serving themselves, which is enjoying the comfort of their bed, or they are serving Satan. Everybody has a reward. And come to look at it. Go into those families. You see how many, that's why they don't live life. They suffer so many problems. All these millionaires that they know God. They go and take their life. And they have all manners of problems because they believe in serving the master of this world, money. The latter end reward. And last week, we, had, we now go into what are the latter end year of reward. We also talk about the glory of God reward. How many of you remember? The glory of God, which is the part of the latter end year reward. The glory of God. I, I must demonstrate the glory of God at the latter end of this year. Even if my beginning was what? Small. This is the time for me to reap the harvest. Can't you see the ministry? When we moved here two months ago, the place was like a was like we are, was like our mukuku. But now see how it is glorified. Come and give the Lord a clap of it. The latter head of your glory is here. And then, who can tell me another one? The multiplication reward. I will multiply you. I will what? I will multiply you. You shall receive an hundredfold in the latter end of the year. And remember the third one, which we talk about. This is where I'm going to continue. The tree of life. How many of you remember it? The what? The tree of life. I want you to be men and women of scripture. When the Bible say, hey, there is a hope for them that what? That are joined to the living. When the tree is uprooted and is planted back, then the tree is what? Bring forth its fruit. The what? The tree of life reward. So let me take you back there to continue and we go into where we are. I pray God will help me. I might be doing reading so that you can catch up something this today. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. 
Blessed are they that do his commandment. What is that commandment? Blessed are they that love God, that serve him. Blessed are what? They that love God, that serve him. That is his commandment. Those that follow him. He said that they may have what? They may... Um, we are there. Give me now. Revelation chapter 22, verse 2. Oh, no, no. Revelation 22, verse 14. 14. 14. Let's see together. Blessed are they that do his commandment and that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate into the city. Blessed are they. What is the tree of life? Therefore, Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Revelation chapter 22, 14, 14. Let's read together. Blessed are they that do his commandment, that they may have right. Mm -hmm. Now, Revelation 22, verse 2. Say to me, ask your neighbor, neighbor, what is the tree of life? What is so important about the tree of life? So next time you are young, the tree of life, tree of life, tree of life, you must be able to say, yes! Our pastor has taught us about the tree of life. I want to show you now. And we are, we are going to ask the Lord, oh, if this is so important, then eh, I want my reward. Let's see together. One, two, go. And on the either side of the river, was there the... Eh? Eh? Was there what? Was there what? Can you see scripture? We were taught about the tree of life. We read it first in where? In Revelation chapter 22. And now we are going to see the explanation of it in verse 2. So let's read again. And there was the wheat. Come and give us all the clap offering. Everyone that does his commandment. He said what? They are then that have right to the trees of life. And what is the trees of life? The tree of life symbolizes the healing of the 12 months. Every year, every month, they were entitled to healing. That is, they were not subjected to sicknesses. They were not meant to be sick. Why? Every month, they were not meant to be sick. Why? Because it is their right. They have the reward of what? Of the healing that comes from the trees of life. What is the tree of life? Every time we see the trees blossoming, our life are supposed to be blossoming. They have the right to the word, to the healing. They cheated a fruit every month. And the leaves was was what? Healing of the nations. Healing of the nations. So say, I've got right to the healing every month. And every month means every day. You are not permitted to seek in any month. Not even in winter. Not even in summer. So these winter sicknesses or summer sicknesses, they are what? They are illegal. They are strangers. They are what? They are strangers. Now, the question is this. Why are men still sick why are men being oppressed why are men not enjoying the trees of life or why are men despite that we are serving him why are men still being poor why why are men not being progressive 
we are serving him and he said as when they serve him they have the right to the trees of life and they are what they are city mover don't forget that one also city mover means they are sons and daughters of prosperity why then are we not prosper why then am i not prosper despite my service unto the lord despite my 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 dedication unto the lord let's quickly look at them it all depends on listen to me it all depends on if you are working in my company and you are not working very well don't you know that i have the right to give you the salary or not to give you the salary yes or no if your work is not satisfactory to me i will tell you bluntly okay oh boy this month no salary you say why i said because i'm not pleased with your service the same way with god so the when the moment satan accused us of brethren watching the way you are serving him he went and complained about your case and said god did you see your son you say he's serving you this one is not entitled to salary god said why he said do you want to contradict your words he said, this one is not entitled to the inning. I have taught him. Let him live like that. God will say, okay, let's watch whether he will change next month. Let's watch whether he will change next month. And so, man, we carry this. So many things in our body because of the way we are serving God and we are expecting results. No, there are certain results we cannot get. Let's look at it quickly. One, why are men not receiving the reward? First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 14 if any man's works abide which he had built there upon he shall receive a reward let's establish that one if any man's work abide which he had built there upon he shall receive reward so it is obvious every one of us will receive a reward whether in serving god or in serving your employer even if you are serving yourself you still have a reward Businessmen, you have your reward. If you do your business very well, you have the reward of profit. If you are a businessman that sleep at home, I am a, I am the CEO at 10 a.m. You are you are stressing your body. Uh, the people that are serious have made business from eight o'clock to ten o'clock before you arrive. Let's look at it. So it is certain, it is established. Everyone that serves master. Have their reward. Even people that serve, that serve Satan, they have their reward. So you got the right to choose how to serve. One, let's look at it. Second Corinthians chapter nine. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse seventeen. Let's read it together. Why? I want you to ask yourself. Say, neighbor, why are you not getting reward of serving God in this ministry? Let's start from there. Let's see now. He said, For as touching the ministering to the saints, what are they reading? Are they not hearing me? Are they not hearing me? What now? First Corinthians chapter 9. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 17. Let's see together. For if I do this thing, Willingly, say willingly. Then I have a reward. But if against my will a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me, everyone that have okay, let's go. Everyone that serve God willingly have their reward. Hello, you don't have a reward when they when they force you to do it. You don't have a reward. When you are forced, you don't have the reward. You say, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to give offering, but they are forcing me to give. There is no reward. Mm -mm. So the reward of service or the reward of whatever you are doing is as a result of a winning heart. Let every man give offering. Winningly. Let everyone give offering. Tight. Sacrificial offering. Church building. Winningly. That is, I employ you to give. 
willingly. Let your heart feel the environment. Let your mind, even if you don't have, let your heart source. It's not only money, your time, your talent. When you give willingly. But when you give grudgingly. What? Grudgingly. Eh, Daddy asks us to give. Let's just give. Oh. You are telling your husband or your, your, your wife. You know Daddy said we should give for the church offering. For the, let's just give oh, so that he doesn't say that we are the only one that doesn't give. You have received your reward. Because you thought you were giving to Daddy, to me. Mm-mm. And Daddy said we should make pledge. Let's just write our own pledge, Joe, so that we can put our name. You are giving it grudgingly. It's not a reward. He said, I have a reward. But if against my will, mm. now, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5, why are men not receiving reward? Please, I beg you in the name of God, let your heart be winning to give. Hello? I don't need to tell you. Or you don't need your manager to tell you that your own table that you are using to write is dirty. Like I used to tell Larry now. Your drum is dirty. I don't need to look at you now and say your drum is dirty. If this is in your bedroom, would you keep your, your table dirty? All of you, I'm talking to you. Not only in church, oh, your office, your house. I will start coming to your house now from next year and see how you are keeping your bed. If you are married, I will come, come and see why your husband is not sleeping in the bedroom anymore. Or why your wife is not sleeping. Or why, why your husband is not going to your bed, your, your kitchen. I don't need to tell you that this place is dirty. I don't need to call you for, for Saturday, Saturday, Saturday's cleaning. You should be able to give yourself to it. Winningly. That is a reward. I don't need to say, come, let's go to evangelism. You should be able to ask, please, when is our next evangelism? I want to work for... That's how it is also in, the, in your office. You don't need to wait for your boss to come and tell you, my friend, don't you see that this your office is dirty? And that is how some of us are. A personal assistant, a secretary. When you first enter the office, you see everywhere messed up. The boss is waiting for the right time to sack you. Because that is your reward of what? Your dirtiness. You are too dirty. Ask your neighbor, neighbor. Is, is it you, pastor, you're talking about? <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. Let's read it. God will help you to finish this message. Moreover, he said this is another one. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. Let's read. Moreover, Eh? Ephesians chapter tap, tap 6, verse 5. Now, let's go. He said what? Servant, be obedient to them that are your master. Or oh, do you do the same in the office? My pastor is coming. Welcome, daddy. Welcome, sir. That is your chief, chief, CEO. But when you come to the church, are you daddy? I'm your, that, I'm your mate now. He said you should balance them up. What? Balance them up. Hey, because if you cannot celebrate me, I'm sure you won't celebrate your CEO in your office. I am the representative of God. If you cannot celebrate me, I can tell you the truth. When I come to your office, I won't be surprised if I ask you so many times before they say, hey, which one? Oh, and by that they will say, they will not fight you. They say, ah, is that one? That useless boy. I know that. I say, yeah, that's why I came here. Because I know he's useless also in the church. <laughs> I know he's arrogant also in the church. Hello? Let whatever you be in the office, good, obedient, be a reflection of what you are in church. Let whatever you are in church be a reflection of who you are in the office. Hello? It. I can see, I can see who you are in the office from church. Hello? You can't hide it. 
character is a smoke. Hello? Don't be a pretender on Sunday. And it, on Monday, you are something else in the office. And I'll tell you the truth. When I see a backbiter in church, I know he's, he's the, he or she is the chair person of the backbiter in the office. If they can do it in church, I won't be surprised. He said, be obedient to them. So there are so many people. Let's, let's go, let's go. I've not finished. And then verse 6. Hear this one, verse 6. That's where people are not receiving what? Reward. Say, oh yeah, let's go. Want to go? Say it like that from the... Say it like that from the... There are many services we are doing in the house of God that are not from our hearts. They are just mere eye service. Can you get a reward? It's God that said it. God said, when I look at the way you behave, you are, a, you are full of eye service. Be, ah! My son, my daughter, repent! Eye services! To, to be honest with you, before you see somebody that is eye services in the church, they came from the office. And before you see somebody that is eye service in the office, they came from church. In fact, it is very common in church. I service. I service. Don't do I service. Don't pretend. If you can't do it, just say it. I can't do it. Or if I don't want to do it, just tell me. I don't want to. Daddy, I don't want to do it. Why? Say it. And I, than to say, if you see me coming out, then you are quickly running to the technical room. You are quickly going to the office and put it in. Doesn't call for. Even if I don't see it, God sees you. And the reward is in your hand. I service. I service. I've never done I service in my life. When I was in, where, where, where I was coming from. Mm -mm. And it's already part of me. Not because the pastor is there or the bishop is there. When I'm sitting down in front, where I was coming from, I, I hardly listen to what even the man of God is preaching. You know why? My heart is in the public, looking at the back. One chair is not occupied. Uh, one man is not sitting where they don't give him chair. I'm looking. Even here when I'm here now, I'm looking at the worship team. Their microphone is not complete. Uh, so please, you know, I'm communicating with my eyes. I don't do eye service. Eye service, you receive your reward. You know the reward of the eye service. Huh? You don't know the word of the eye service. It's shame. It's what? Shame, Pela. Shame. Shame. They come with shame. Eye service. And if you are doing eye service also with your partner or your wife or your husband, you know the result? Huh? Divorce. That's why also God when you do eye service for him, he divorces you. Say, this one, I can't trust him. You do the right thing when I'm there. But when I, when I leave, you spoil it. You talk well of me when you see me. But when I left, you say, <laughs> you talk well of your friend when he's there. In fact, some of you will say, hey, this church is so beautiful. Hey, red carpet, blue carpet. But when you get outside, uh, if you see how much they are, money they are using now to work the carpet, to work the church, high service. You get your own reward, though. Hey, tell me, this your dress is nice, sir. Tell me, this your shoe is nice, sir. But immediately, tell me, leave the church now. Brother James, come. Tell me, the other tell me. Do you know, she, she, she bought that shoe in pick and pay. <laughs> she bought it in true what? I service. Tell us your neighbor, neighbor. Look at this dress. It's not for pick and pay. Oh. <laughs> I 
service. Now, let's read again. Hey, he said, not with eye service, as men pleasers. Don't be a men pleasers. Hello? Don't try to please that brother or that sister with a small five minute yana yana form that you will get your reward. That you know your reward. After nine months, at the later end of the year, we will see your reward. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see what the brothers done. Come and see what the brothers done. We will see the end after our relevant. Nine months. Is the later end of you. We will see the harvest. We will see the harvest. Men, please her. You want to please him? You want to please her? Continue. You know? Say what? You know? Say continue. You will see the result. Hallelujah. Now, verse 8. Verse 8 of it. He said, What? Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord. Whether he be born, yeah, that whether he be born, I want you to understand that word. Whether he be born, that is whether he be unbelievers, or whether be the godly people, or whether be the secular world. That's what that means. So then let nobody coerce you. Eh? People of God, you, you said something that you went to one church. When the pastor is coming, eh, everybody lay down. It's not that they are worshipping him. It's a respect. Do you respect, ask them, those people, on Monday, when they get to work, when their boss enter, do they respect him? He said, they don't. They don't. But because that man they have exhausted that, exhausted that man. I'm not saying, you get know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's part of respect. So even when you respect that man, you are respecting God in his life. God will reward you also for that respect. But I'm not saying that, according to what the scriptures say, he said whether they are born, whether they are believer, whether they are in the secular world, did you, whatever you sow to them, is what you will receive. And then he said, oh, they are what? Free born. That is believers. So he's talking about both sides. Whatever you do in the church and whatever you do outside the church as believer or as outside being an unbeliever in a circular environment, the same you will receive your reward. If you are somebody that likes to frustrate people's effort. I'm talking about you. Do you hear me? Yeah. Left and right. Touch your neighbor. Neighbor. Pastor is talking about you. Look behind you. Look behind you. So if you, so tell him, say you, 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 you. If you are somebody that, if you like to frustrate other people's progress, you will receive the reward. Say not me. Say not me. Say me, not not me. That's why a lot of people are in church and they are not being blessed, whereas others are being blessed. What are you giving to God? When you give, do you even give with all your heart? Do you give willingly? Do you give grumblingly? Do you give and go at home and be complaining? Even do you even give at all? God said, when I, were, when I was poor, you didn't feed me. Do you give at all? Is, listen to me. The respect you give me as a man of God is the same way people will respect you as sons and daughters of, of the prophet outside. The respect you give to your head of department, 
The, the, the time you will also not be head of department is the same thing they will do to you. Hello? So it's a seed. Say it's a seed. Say reward is a seed. Hello? If you respect me, I can tell you the truth. You will respect all this hierarchy. If you cannot respect me, I can be well persuaded that even when you see Pastor Dayo, you will slap him. If I'm coming from the from the gate here, from the door, and we are testing ourselves, I can be well persuaded. If you meet Pastor Brian in this open gate there, you will you in fact you will pour water on him and say, Hey, Pastor Dad, Pastor, don't you see that I'm here first? Come on. I'm here first. Come on. But and if you do if you do that to them tomorrow, it won't be too long. Monday, they will do the same thing for you at the office. It's a seed. That's why a lot of people are not getting blessed in church. And others are getting blessed. Say, I know. From now. Now, I will cut this message short. Let's look at something about the tree of life. Reward. Firstly, lift up your right hand and say, Oh Lord, forgive me and I repent every area where I have been unfaithful in my service to you every area where I have missed it in my service in the house of God in my business in my office forgive me you are forgiven. You are forgiven. You know why? The Bible says that the Son of God has set free. They are what? They are free. Until when this is done, you don't have access to the next phase of the reward. So I prophesy into your life. Step forth your hands to this altar. As many of you that under the sound of my voice right now, this week is your week of reward. This week is your week of reward. Physical reward. Financial reward, substance reward, business reward, for in the name of Jesus. Now let's see one reward quickly, and then we will go and pray. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, verse 14 to 15. Matthew chapter 8, verse 14 to 15. Let's see together. One, two, go. Are you there? Look at the screen. One, two, go. He saw his wife's mother lay and sick of a fever. Verse 5. He touched her hand and the fever left her. And she arose and ministered unto them. There was a reward of healing, instant healing. Not even upon the Peter himself, but one that is a minister to the saints. Hey, God is interested in our healing because he knows we are the minister unto his life. Can you read the truth of the matter is this? If Jesus refused to heal that woman that day, they would have gone hungry. They would have what? They will have been on compulsive fasting. So the church of God and the ministry of God will be stranded when laborers like you are affected. If your finances is affected, the church of God will be affected. That's why God will not allow your businesses to be affected because every stranger that comes to attack your businesses is not only attacking your business, he's attacking your ministration in the house of God. And God will say, no! Satan attempted that woman because he knew that woman that she's a minister, minister to his saint. And so Jesus sent her. So he said, uh-huh. FIFA, what are you doing this woman? Don't you know that this one minister to me? Go. The FIFA disappear. 
reward of healing. Peter was a servant. How can his mother-in-law be sick? If you are in this ministry, if you are serving God, why must you be sick? Say error. error. So that is one of the rewards of serving God. Jesus enter. Can I tell you the truth? Nobody called for, 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 for Jesus. Do you hear what I'm saying? They didn't call for Jesus. Hey, Jesus, come. Lazarus has been, has been sick for four days. Huh? In the, in the, even in, 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 in Lazarus, they called for him. But this one, they didn't call for him. He went. Jesus is visiting you this morning. I don't know what is your own sickness. I don't know what is your own sickness. Any sickness that is taking your money is looking after your poverty. And what? Every sickness that is attacking your finances is looking for your headache. Don't you know how many fever you had? So many fever that is in the house today is not medical fever. It's financial fever. Particularly this month ending. Am I right or wrong, people of God? Tell me the truth now. How many of you that do like this, like this? <sighs> All this high blood pressure we are talking about now. If there is more money pressure, why would there be no high blood pressure? <laughs> eh? It is because of the money pressure that bring the high blood pressure. So when the money pressure is out of your life, you will now see the bodily pressure. Let's forget about the medical. If you have, a, if it is a medical uh, pressure, since you have been taking paracetamol and the uh, anti whatever, why have they not gone? But I tell you now, if one million enter into your account now, I'm sure that headache will disappear for good one year. <laughs> yes or no? Everything that is attacking your life, I cost them this money. Whatever sickness of life, whatever sickness of life, whatever sickness of your head, your mind, your emotion, wherever it is attacking you, I stand upon the altars of the Lord and the Most High God. I cause that sicknesses. Every sickness of poverty, every sickness of career, every sickness in your businesses, every sickness that is giving you sleepless night, every sickness of emotion, I cause them this money in the name of Jesus. I cause them this money in the name of Jesus. Say every strangers in my life, every strangers in my finances, Every stranger, every stranger in my businesses, in my business, every, stranger every stranger in my career, in my career every, stranger every stranger attacking my life, attacking my, attacking my head, attacking my, attacking my body, attacking my, attacking my bank account. My bank account. I, cause I, cause I cause you now. I cause you now. Out of my life. Of my life. I cause you now. Now, 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 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 1. I want us to read together. Are you there? I want us to read this one together. One to go. Listen, if your neighbor is not reading, tap, say, read. Uh -huh. One to go. The son of Amos came to him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set the house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Say not me. Say not me. Say not my dead. Now let's go, verse 2. Uh -huh. Verse 2. And pray unto the Lord 
sei. I've walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and I have done that which is good in thy sight. And Eskaya wept so. Can you see what I'm seeing? Oh, I thought Pastor Tawu was just, just was just talking rubbish. Those that serve him diligently, willingly, with all their heart, they are what they are entitled to the tree of life. Ah, God, you told me I'm dying. I said no way. This guy has said no way. God, are you talking? Yes, that's, that's what this guy was saying. God, are you are you still God? God, are you still God? If you are still God, have you forgotten what you said in your word before? Those that serve him willingly shall have the right to the trees of life. And the trees of life give me life 24-7. Every month, the trees of life, which symbolizes what? The trees, the, the 12 trees of life. And they were for the healing of the nation. He said, God, I'm not sure you remember you have spoken your word before. Me, dying by your prophet, and whatever that prophet speak, prophet Isaiah is final. Isaiah said, no, my own case will be different. God, go back to your Bible. Go back to your word. Otherwise, you will, you will no longer be a God. Check again. He reminded God. He said, God, hey, wait, 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 wait. According to the scripture, you said, come and let us reason together. He said, argue your case. Even if you are dirty, he said, I will purify you. Even if you are a sinner, he said, I will cleanse you. He said, God, come. I don't know what error I have done. I don't know what mistake I have done. I don't know whatever I have done that make you to make me poor. I don't know the education. I don't know my mistake. I don't know what I have done that make me to be single. I don't know what I have done that give me HIV. I don't know what I have done that give me cancer. I don't know what I have done that I am like this. He said, but God, remember, I am a servant in the house of God. I am a worshiper. I am a worker. I am a singer. I am a deacon. I am a deaconess. He said, I am a pastor. I evangelize. I cleanse the church. I give to the offering. I give to the carpet. I give. He said, God, have you forgotten? It was a serious matter. It was what? Ah! He said, God, I feel forgotten. Like you now. He said, God, can I be sick? <laughs> if I sick, how would I go to Wami next Sunday and worship again? He said, God, are you for don't you remember? <laughs> hey! So God was in trouble that night. God was in big trouble that night. He thought God wanted the Sakaya to prove himself. Whether what he was doing was willingly or by eye service. So Sakaya reminded God, God, I am not an eye service servant. I am a true servant. I serve you. I give to you. I clean your house. I dedicated myself. He said, I don't care. Whatever I have done, according to your will, I am not dying. I'm not giving up. I'm not dying. I'm not giving up. I'm not dying. My God, we do it again, just like before. I'm not giving up. I'm not dying, I'm not, I'm not giving up, I'm not dying, hey! I'm not giving up, I'm not dying, my God, we do it again, just like before, I'm not giving up, I'm not dying, hey, one more time! Giving up, I'm not done. I'm not giving up, I'm not done. My God, we throw it 
again, just like before. Not giving up. He turned himself to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, Oh God, remember now, I have worked before thee. He reminded God, Ah! God said, Hey, and it came to pass. Isaiah, God said, Turn again. He said, Turn again. That's why I said, God will do it again. That's why we came from. Around. Hey, God said, Hello, I think there is a mistake. There is a miss up. I think there is a miss up. Sorry, 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 sorry. I think there is a miss up. Isaiah, turn back. Everybody say, turn back. Say, all strangers in my body, in my body. turn back. Turn. Now, ah, do you know Isaiah became a stranger in Ezekiah's life? Eh? Isaiah, turn back. I am not the one you are speaking to. I reject it. I reject your evil report. I reject your evil report. Say I reject. I reject every evil report. Every evil report in my life. In my life. I am a child of God. A child of God. I am not dying. I am not dying. I am not poor. I am, not poor. I am rich. I am rich. I reject. I reject every status. Every status that the enemy, that the enemy has placed upon me. Place upon I am me. not dying. I am not. Dying. I am not poor. I am not poor. Hey, God say, oh yeah. Turn again and tell Eskaya, Don't say the Lord, the God of David, thy father. Verse 5. I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will eat. Behold, I will eat. You are the Lord that he led me. You are the love, my love. You sent your word. I hear you. You are the love, my love. You are the love. Ezekiah, thou art healed. The Bible says, and the Lord sent forth his word. His word, he led us. And the Lord sent forth his word. His word, he led us. I want to show you something quickly, right now, and then we will be worshiping the Lord. Please be seated for one minute. I won't take your time. I've told you. Then how can I receive my reward? Of the trees of life. How do I go to the trees of life and plug my hini? He said the trees are for the hini of the world of the nations. If Pastor Mo can heal me, can Pastor Moore heal the demons? We're going to a praise session right now. But I wanted to show you why you should pray. You should praise him. Because it's another antidote of healing and deliverance. In fact, it's a powerful antidote that is more than out. It's a self-deliverance. If you don't like to be Listen to me. If you don't like to be embarrassed by demons, please embarrass yourself or embarrass the demon yourself. Do you hear what I'm saying? If you don't want to be embarrassed 
by demon. Embarrass demon yourself. Can I explain to you? If you don't like to see yourself on this altar, running up and down, scattering everywhere, it is better you scatter demon yourself than demon scattering you. I repeat myself and hear me very well. If you don't want to be embarrassed, and suddenly you find yourself in uh, Prophetic B. Joshua Church, or in any of our big, big prophetic deliverance on the here, hey, embarrass Satan. Uh, embarrass demon yourself before the demon embarrass you. Because you will find that if you don't embarrass demon yourself, a hey, demon will embarrass you and you begin to talk nonsense. And begin to climb the ladder and climb the... I remember one of the deliverance here. Demon tormented that woman to the point that uh, he jumped to the eater. If you don't want to run away, uh, uh, you better chase demon away. Can I show you how you can chase demon away yourself? High praise in thanksgiving. In what? In thanksgiving. You can cast out poverty by joy. You can cast out sorrow with joy. Joy that comes from the worship. It's difficult for you if I say cast out fear or sadness with joy. It will be difficult a bit for you to be just smiling in your car. We will take you to psychiatric. <laughs> let me cast out let me cast out the spirit of heaviness and you are sitting down in your car and you are doing <laughs> before we know you we will take you to psychiatry but you can cast out the spirit of heaviness the spirit of death by I praise when demon is singing for you and making your life miserable you also you can sing for demon and when demon hear your own voice, he will depart from you. That is the power of I praise. Rise up your feet. Oh! Chineke, 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 Chineke,
Chineke, Chineke, Chineke, Chineke, Chineke. I want to see everybody. Hey. One day. Okay. Your hands. Everybody. Yeah. Be, don't be tired. Be part of the place. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. He is coming upon everybody now. Yes. As you are pressing him. Uh-huh. The healing power it's is okay. flowing out. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. 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 No, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Did you go to primary school? You went to primary school? Yes. Now in the primary school we did something. Uh-huh. Stay like that. Everybody, stay like that. Uh-huh. Stay play for me. Uh-huh. Stay, stay like that. Oh yeah, everybody. Change your style. Can I see you? Change your style. Say, change your style. I wanna see. Change your style. Everybody. Can it bad? Everybody. Change your style. Can I see everybody? Change your style. Everybody. Everybody. Change your style. I want to see everybody change your style. Hey, it's very bad. Hey, it's very bad. Hey, it's very bad. Hey, change your style. Hey, you're the one women. Hey, change your style. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Change your style. Hey, it's very bad. It's very bad. Change your style. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Change your style. Everybody, change your style. Uh-huh. Change your style. Hey. Be like that. Just be like that. Be like that. Uh-huh. Change your style. Be very bad. Very bad. Change your style. Be very bad. Be very bad. Can I see? Change your style. Be very bad. Be very bad. It's very bad. Hey, change your style. Can I see you, everybody? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Change your style. It's okay. 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 It's okay, 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 it's okay,